Hey y'all, Doug with DNA in the garage. As you may notice, this door right here on my Cherokee, uh, A, does not match, but B, does not have any rust uh, down at the bottom like my old one did. Uh, Jersey Winters finally got the best of uh, that door and the rust was too far gone, so I was able to get this door matching color out of a junkyard. There are two problems though. One, this pinstripe, and two, this one didn't have the uh, plastic trim down at the bottom. So while it matches in color, it does not match the Jeep, all right? Now there are a lot of ways uh, I could go about fixing that, but what I think I wanna do is A, remove this pinstripe, and B, remove the rest of these cladding pieces because I think it looks better without them. Here's the problem. Uh, one, pinstripes are hard to remove, and two, I tried removing the cladding piece on the old door and you're left with all this adhesive stuff. Uh, they use some real industrial double-sided tape to uh, hold that thing on there and it's kind of a pain to get off. So today uh, I'm going to go over with you guys a couple ways to get adhesives and stuff like that off your vehicle. We're going to uh, go over a good way to get a pinstripe off without damaging the vehicle. We're going to go over a good way to get this garbage off without damaging the paint and we're also going to go over how to get stickers off without damaging the paint. Alrighty, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and get yourself an eraser wheel. This is what they look like. Uh, this is a no-name brand, Doka, I think was the uh, manufacturer. 3M makes one. This one was 17 bucks on Amazon. It's got a little shaft that comes with it. You screw that on, then you chalk it up in a drill. And the idea now is uh, this rubber wheel will pull pinstripes right off. Now, I've never tried this one. Let's go see how it does on that pinstripe on my Cherokee door. Dang, I don't know if you can tell, but that absolutely pulls all of it off. Now it does make a bunch of residue. It's like a normal eraser, like on a pencil. As you're using it, bits of the eraser are coming off, but this is absolutely clean. Did not damage the paint. There's a little bit of residue left that I will probably be able to get off with some mineral spirits. This thing's awesome for the pinstripe. Let's test it on the decal. All right, so this is a pretty high quality vinyl decal, the kind that you know most people uh, get as bumper stickers or whatever. Let's see how the eraser wheel does taking this thing off. All right, decal is gone, but now I've got some sticky glue material on there. Let's see if the denatured alcohol will take that off. Perfect. A little bit of elbow grease. Look at that. Friggin' perfect. Now, I wasn't gonna test it on this, but we did so good on here, I'm gonna add one more test. All right, I hate these friggin' things. Whenever you get a new car from a dealership, they smear their logo on the back of it. Screw you, man, you know? I don't feel like advertising for you. It's my car. So one of the first things I always try to do is get rid of these decals. Now I've used solvents to try to get them off. I've used razor blades and what I always end up doing, either I don't get all of it off or I scratch the paint behind it and then it looks like garbage. Let's see how this bad boy does. <laughs> All right, the battery on my cordless drill is giving out, but I think this is absolutely a success. Though I'll be honest, this 18-year-old uh, logo, assuming it was put on when the thing was new, was definitely the hardest test for this thing yet, but it did pass, it did get it. I think I'm gonna switch my battery. I'll finish pulling this off, a little more denatured alcohol for the residue. This thing's awesome. Well worth the $17. I think the 3M one is like 20 bucks. All right, let's look into getting that uh, adhesive off. I don't think, uh, that double-sided tape, I don't think this is gonna be useful for that. We're gonna need something else. All right, this is what we're gonna use to uh, pull off that double-sided adhesive. It's a uh, pretty strong solvent goof off, um, totally safe on the, uh, the finish on your vehicle. Uh, I've had good luck with this pulling off uh, tar and uh, like asphalt tar uh, and some other uh, glue type stuff off of cars before. Never this double-sided tape, but uh, let's give it a shot. I think what we're gonna do is blot it on there with a uh, cloth, let it sit for a little bit, and uh, try to take a plastic scraper and see if that'll pull it off. I meant to blot it a little more, I kinda ended up pouring it, but let's see. 
since this uh, double-sided tape is a little bit porous, maybe we can get it to soak in there and get a really good uh, result that way. Once that's soaked in a bit, I'm going to try one of these. It's just a, uh, a Bondo applicator, but it's stiff, but still somewhat soft plastic. I think that should be able to, let's see, scrape this glue off without damaging the paint underneath. Definitely not ready yet. Let's give it a few more minutes of sitting. Alrighty friends, I don't love admitting when I'm wrong, but I was absolutely wrong. Uh, this Bondo uh, applicator was just too soft. I struggled with various different pieces of plastic for about a half hour uh, before I finally wiped off all the goof off and went to the eraser wheel. Didn't think it was gonna work, but whew, it pulled this stuff right off like, like nobody's business. Alright, as you can see, it absolutely leaves some uh, residue and a little bit of the old adhesive in the form of haze on there, but a little bit of denatured alcohol will pull that right off and uh, <clears throat> good as new, you know. I can't believe the results that I got from that. So this right here is where the line was uh, of that old adhesive right here underneath the Cherokee Sport logo. So what that means is I can pull these cladding pieces off with confidence um, knowing that I'm going to be able to get the adhesive off and the Jeep is going to look fine. Now ultimately I'm going to clean up this rocket rust and bring bed liner up to about this line which is going to look a lot better without these old faded plastics there. So moral of the story goof off which I've been using for years for this kind of stuff it does work but it takes forever uh, there is a new game in town though this rubber eraser wheel worked for the pinstripes it worked for the decal it worked for the 18 year old lettering and much to my surprise it absolutely chewed through that double-sided uh, rubberized tape on here uh, if you're gonna use one go ahead and get one on Amazon about 20 bucks but get yourself some mineral spirits I was saying denatured alcohol it's actually mineral spirits I've been using to clean up that residue. It does make a bit of a mess. Uh, and it will leave a little bit of a haze on there, but I was able to, in all four applications, a little bit of this, rub that stuff right off. So, if you got any questions, leave me a comment down in the squawk boxes. Let me know what you think of uh, the process, what we did here today. If you got any suggestions how I can do better, I'm always open to that. Uh, if you liked the video, found it entertaining, amusing, maybe even a little educational, by all means, hit that like button. Uh, subscribe to the channel. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time. Question's gonna be how hard is it? Oh yeah, to get these things off without messing up the paint. Ow! I don't know. There we go. All right.